Welcome, agents of the Inquisition. What has brought you to Redcliffe? Is this some sort of test? We're here because you invited us in Val Royaux. You must be mistaken. I haven't been to Val Royaux since before the Conclave. There is no mistake. While the Templars were leaving, you came to Val Royaux and asked me here. The Templars left Val Royaux? Where did they go? That sounds... Why does that sound so strange? Whoever, or whatever, brought you here? The situation has changed. The Free Mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinta Imperium. This right here is why you can't trust mages. An alliance with Tevinta? Do you not fear all of Thedas turning against you? As one indentured to a magister, I no longer have the authority to negotiate with you. Very well. Who's in charge now? Welcome, my friends. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Agents of the Inquisition, allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command. And you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fade? Interesting. I'd like to know more about this alliance between the Rebel Mages and the Imperium. Certainly. What specifically do you wish to know? The Grand Enchanter told me she was indentured to a Magister. Our Southern Brethren have no legal status in the Imperium. As they were not born citizens of Tevinta, they must work for a period of ten years before gaining full rights. As their protector, I shall oversee their work for the Imperium. What does the Imperium gain from taking rebel mages under its wing? For the moment, the southern mages are a considerable expense. After they are properly trained, they will join our Legion. You said not all my people would be military. There are children, those not suited. And one day I'm sure they will all be productive citizens of the Imperium when their debts are paid. I'm not clear on when exactly you negotiated this arrangement with Fiona. When the Conclave was destroyed, these poor souls faced the brutality of the Templars who rushed to attack them. It could only be through divine providence that I arrived when I did. It was certainly very timely. I haven't seen any sign of Redcliffe's Arl or his men. The Arl of Redcliffe left the village. Arl Tegan did not abandon his lands during the Blight, even when they were under siege. There were tensions growing. I did not want an incident. You're quite a long way from Tevinter, Alexius. Indeed I am. Though I have heard you are no Ferelden either, it seems we are both strangers here. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, friends. I am not surprised you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious, indeed. Well, when you're fighting a massive tear in the sky, you can hardly afford to think small. There will have to be. Felix. My lord, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Are you all right? I'm fine, Father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date.
Come to the Chantry. You are in danger. Well, aren't we secrety? We'll be careful, but we need to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> 